What's up guys, today, we would be talking about the coolest thing on the market right now. Here's a riddle for you. I'm an NFT. I'm the OG of NFTs. I'm the most expensive NFT ever sold. I sold for over $532 million in October. I'm a randomly generated 8-bit appearance, and also a digital misfit. Answer? Stay locked to this video, as we would be talking about this mysterious NFT, and why it's blowing every other NFT art movement out of the water. Hi there, I am glad to welcome you to another Bash Box video. Kindly take a minute to hit the like and subscribe button. We thank every subscriber. With that being said, let's get right to it. So what's my name? CryptoPunk. And what am I? Well, that's a long story, in a way, but the shorter version goes like this. I was created in a lab. The Larva Labs, to be precise, which is based in New York. Long story. Three years ago, two software developers created a quirky art project called CryptoPunks that posed a serious and provocative question. Could a few lines of code translate to a feeling of meaningful ownership? It was a crazy idea that would require, in their words, a conceptual leap. Then I was launched on June 23, 2017, and thus began the Cryptort movement, with CryptoPunks, the alpha and omega of this movement, says Noah Davis, specialist in post-war and contemporary art at Christie's, New York. So what am I? That question feels unanswered. I'm a collection of 24x24, 8-bit style pixel art images of misfits and eccentrics. There are exactly 10,000 of me, with each with their own ostensible personality and unique combination of distinctive, randomly generated features, from glasses to caps to hoodies. That sounds cool. So CryptoPunks fades off. One thing to note is there are 6,039 male punks and 3,840 female punks. A total of 696 were hot lipstick, while 303 have mutton chops. There are 286 punks with 3D glasses, 128 rosy-cheeked punks, 94 punks with pigtails, 78 punks with buck teeth and 44 beanie-wearing punks. There are also 8 punks with no distinctive features at all sometimes referred to as Genesis punks and only one with 7 attributes. CryptoPunk 8348 A big bearded, buck-toothed, cigarette-smoking punk with an earring and a mole, wearing classic shades and a top hat. So they were inspired by the 70s rock-slash-punk movement in London. They had this to say, there was a raucous, anti-establishment spirit to the early days of the blockchain movement. It was a vibe they wanted to reflect in the look of their punks. They needed to be a collection of misfits and nonconformists, they explain. The London punk movement of the 1970s felt like the right aesthetic. Back to me, inspired by the 70s London punk scene, many punks have mohawks and wild hair, like CryptoPunks 532 and 602. The one interesting thing, among many of course, but I only chose to highlight this, is that, no two are exactly alike, and each one of them can be officially owned by a single person on the Ethereum blockchain. Originally, they could be claimed for free by anybody with an Ethereum wallet, but all 10,000 were quickly claimed. Now they must be purchased from someone via the marketplace that's also embedded in the blockchain. This system Hall and Watkinson came up with is sometimes compared to owning a work of physical art that's permanently on loan to a public museum. It also inspired the now widely accepted ERC721 standard for NFTs, laying the groundwork for today's NFT market. We'd go into some numbers right now. Current lowest price punk available. 72.95 F. 321,522 US dollars and 3 cents. Number of sales, last 12 months. 11,972. Total value of all sales, lifetime. 608.21 KZI, 1.75 billion dollars. Value of sales, 24 hours. 1.08 KZI, 4.75 million dollars. Value of sales, week. 10.85 KZI, $46.34 million. Value of SLS, 4 weeks. 31.16 KZI, $136.28 million. That's where it stands at the time of this video. More numbers to come, but before that, I would like to point out how rare some CryptoPunks to another, to the extent that some are thought to be lost forever. So back to more numbers. The one lost for all eternity, that's the CryptoPunk number 800, which sold for 137.95 ETH and 642,940 US dollars. The value of CryptoPunks is typically determined by punks' attributes, with the hoodie, beanie, and pilot helmet traits being the most coveted. Other species of punks, zombies, apes and aliens, are incredibly rare and also sell for a premium. Here are the attributes of the one sold. Type, male, 6039. Accessory, classic shade, 509. 
Accessory, crazy hair. Why does this matter though? I would keep it a bit long and sweet. CryptoPunks are the ultimate rookie card for NFT collectors. CryptoPunks have earned huge influence in 2021, with dozens of celebrities proudly showing off their punk ownership on Twitter. CryptoPunk sales are a leading indicator for the rest of the NFT market, and go to show that some are willing to spend serious coin on blockchain-based art. So the highest any NFT sold? CryptoPunk. Easy. And how much was it sold? Flipping through the pages. Flipping. Okay, got it. Well, officially, it's the Beeple's Everydays, a collage of digital art that sold at Christie's auction for $69 million. But then there's the case of an NFT that sold for $532 million in October. What I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, what? It's complicated as NFTs generally are. Being the OG NFT collection, these are costly. They usually sell for between $350,000 and $500,000, though some fetch millions. But this particular transaction, well, the person who bought is just plain weird. He bought it from himself. Let me explain. Like cryptocurrency, NFTs are held in digital wallets. There's no limit to how many wallets one person can create. This person transferred the NFT from wallet A to wallet B. Then, wallet C bought the NFT for $532 million from wallet B and immediately transferred it back to wallet A. Why use three wallets instead of just simply selling it from one wallet to another? It's because the buyer didn't pay for the transaction himself, but instead was loaned the money from others via a flash loan. Flash loans are a complicated decentralized finance tool, but the gist of it is they allow you to loan huge sums of cryptocurrency only if the criteria of a smart contract are met. Imagine if you were buying a $1 million house using a loan, but only if you already had another buyer lined up, who was willing to pay enough for you to make a profit and pay back interest from the lenders. This person did that, except he was both the buyer and the seller. NFTs, am I right? Twitter and Discord, the platforms where most NFT discourse happens, quickly discovered the sale and speculated on the motives behind it. The smoke consensus is that it was a publicity stunt, with the owner probably trying to drive up the price of his CryptoPunk. Who knows? And not that CryptoPunk needs any help, as the highest legitimate sale for a CryptoPunk is $11.7 million. That's rather a lot of money. With this special lot in the 21st century evening sale, the advent of crypto art is truly, inarguably upon us, concludes Davis. Welcome to the future, to a future ruled by crypto punks. That's all for now. You have any business proposal, kindly send us a message via our official email in the description of this video. Disclaimer. Please keep in mind that this isn't financial advice. We take no responsibility for any loss or damage caused by your actions or inactions, as a result of watching any of our videos, you acknowledge that you use the information we provide at your own risk. Quick reminder, if investing in any cryptocurrency seems like an interesting idea to you, the easiest and safest way to buy any cryptocurrency regardless of any country you reside is to buy from Binance platform. There are other places where you can buy cryptocurrency, but this platform is the best and cheapest as far as cryptocurrency is concerned. Kindly use the link in the description of this video to buy and start trading. Also don't forget to click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below, so you get to know whenever we post similar videos like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.